Okay, um, one week down. It's um, a strange feeling, actually. Um, I woke up this morning and, and um, you know, all the usual stuff you do for the morning, and it actually seemed a little easier. Um, uh, I could, you know, just sort of, yeah, it just seemed easier. I, f I feel smaller, which is um, quite peculiar uh, to me. Um, I, I think because five and a half kilos so fast, um, there, there was there's a quick notice to it. So, um, yeah, that's that's been been strange. But um, I thought I'd do a bit of a pros and cons thing for you. Um, just on a, a the basis of, of you know the good things that have happened and and the things that I'm trying to, to deal with. So first off, um, pros well I've lost five and a half kilos and I'm just going to keep saying that over and over again and I'm quite looking forward to telling everybody that even though they may know by watching this video. Uh, eleven centimeter eleven centimeters is gone um, and that's a total from uh, waist, chest, neck, arms and legs um, uh, and hips. And uh, I've lost uh, one BMI, so um, uh, still, still morbidly obese, but you know I'm on the right track, so that's good too. Um, last week we had the approval from the tax office, so we're we're definitely going ahead. Um, today we're going to be talking to super our super uh, companies to see what they need from us, um, uh, how we submit the letter, and then how do we get the money. Um, and one thing I did discover today is though I may, although I'm a, a vegetarian at the moment, I have been vegetarian for a whole week, <laughs> who would have thought, that's seven days longer than I've ever been a vegetarian before, um, I am not a vegan, there are milk products in the shakes, so you know, that's a pro, I'm not, not now, nor will I ever be a vegan, so outstanding. Sorry to all you vegans out there if you're offended, I don't care. Uh, I'm looking forward to my steak, you know. Hmm. Um, so, you know, a couple of things that, you know, I didn't expect. Um, two minute noodles are the most fantastic smelling things in the world. Um, uh, I, I, I cannot begin to tell you, uh, Jordan was eating noodles at the end of the table, I walked by, caught, caught a whiff, and um, yeah, I was on cloud nine, it was absolutely magnificent, so, um, and television programs, any television, every television program that you watch cooks food, they cook food, it doesn't really matter, they, they all eat, it's absolutely astounding how much television or movies eat, it's, it just seems to be a constant thing, um, and, and I, um, even I've been watching a series of MASH lately and they're in the mess tent complaining about how bad the food is and it just looks magnificent to me. So um, that's that's <laughs> another interesting thing. Weekend was difficult. Um, there's, there's no denying, you know, you... you you sit on a couch watching TV after, you know, we, we try to keep ourselves busy in the morning, but you sit on a couch watching TV in the afternoon or you watch a movie or whatever, um, and, and the hunger starts crawling in. Um, it doesn't really matter how many bottles of water you drink and, and uh, at, at, at the end of the day, 650 to 700 calories a day, you, you are hungry. You are just damned hungry. Uh... I can proudly say I've, I, A, I haven't cheated one bit, not one. Um, I've had the desire for food. I've had the desire for all, all sorts of different types of food, but I've, I've not yet had the desire to cheat. Um, so, I've, you know, even, even though I walk past the loaf of bread or the peanut butter, I, I, I haven't stuck my finger in a jar just to have a taste of peanut butter. I haven't done any of that, I've, and, and I'm quite... Uh, quite proud of that, um, uh, and, and quite proud that I still haven't had the desire to cheat. So um, that's 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 a good one. Um, I guess at the end of the day, you know, if, if you're preparing to do something like this and you want to do it, you, you've you've got to realise a, a, a couple of things. Um, one is uh, 
you're going to be hungry. And if you don't know what that feels like, um, I, I think everybody on the planet knows what it feels like to, that, to think they're starving and that they're, they're dying for a meal because they haven't eaten in ages and they're, and they're just not going to you know, function without a meal. Um, and they, they go and they have, have that meal and get that amazing relief. Well, there's, that, that's pretty much what I'm feeling all the time. Um, is is that it, it? It probably increases to extreme from hunger to extreme hunger to hunger to extreme hunger, but it doesn't go away. As there hasn't been a time that I can recall at the moment where I've, I've been sitting there going, oh, "I don't feel really hungry." Um, yet yeah, no. It, so you have to deal with that. Um, you have to deal with sitting next to your work colleagues or sitting with your friends and them having food. You have to deal with them talking about food. You have to deal with you talking about food because it it, it just it's just it's a major topic of our lives. You you will be surprised, um, and if you try if you just listen out for an hour, you'll you'll be surprised at how many conversations you have about food in any given day, um, uh, whether it's small or large. Um, and you'll be surprised at how many things you see about food every given day. So we, we, we're a food society. You have to deal with it. You don't have much of a choice because it's not going anywhere. And, you know, we're, we're counting down the days. So we're, 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 we're looking 24 days to go. So we, we're just, you know, holding on and getting through it. Once the surgery's done, we're not going to feel this kind of hunger and this kind of pain anymore. But... We just got to hold out, and uh, and uh, hold out we will. Anyway, rambled long enough. That's the week that was. Um, I'm, you know, I, I think I, I am looking forward to the second week to see what what else can be lost. Um, I'm, I don't think it's going to be as bad as the first week. I, I get that instinctive feeling that's not going to be as bad as the first week because I'm starting to get used to it. And I think I've had a little bit of my own sort of breakdown um, outside of it. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, but we're day eight. We're on our way to work. And, um, yeah, see how we go from here. Okay.